Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. So today, I just have a bit of a ramble for you. It's some things that I've been thinking about recently, may or may not pertain to anything relevant to you, but we'll get to that in just a second. Quick notifications for just what's going on in the channel. Um, livecast. Tournament Livecast has been ridiculously fun. I actually hosted it on my PC for the first time this past Sunday, and that video should be either already up or uploading as you watch this to go live. Um, thank you, huge thank you to the Patreon people that made the awesome internet connection possible that I now have. Um, being able to stream in 1080p is amazing. And I've actually got a trip this weekend, which I completely forgot about when I was doing the last cast. And yeah, I promised a live cast that I can't actually carry through with because I will be roughly 10 hours away from my PC. So... Unless you want me to attempt to stream on a cell connection with a tablet, that might be a little difficult for Supreme Commander. So anyway, I promise I will make it up to you guys. We'll do a live stream at some point um, next week. I don't have time this week to make up one. And then the following Saturday, Small Cauldron is the map of the week. We're going to be changing up things just a little bit with that one. And uh, so keep sending me those replays and we'll get to that a week from Saturday. There will be a cast going up, so you'll have something to watch. I'm not going to leave you hanging, but uh, no live cast. So anyway, tournament things, that is epic. Uh, this past one, it was only four hours, only four hours long. That is a long time to talk. If any of you have tried to talk continuously for four hours, Unless there's some serious hot airbags <laughs> in this audience, it is a royal pain. Uh, you rapidly run out of things to say, and it gets difficult to even speak coherently after a while. But Potato and I made it through. We had a good time on that one, and hopefully you will enjoy watching all of that stuff over there. So anyway, I think that is everything to do with the channel at the moment, other than I know Tuesday I don't actually have any quote-unquote original content um, I am a day late and a dollar short getting that video up, failing twice in one week, terrible brink. But um, yeah, after the tournament cast on Sunday, I think I experienced complete and total subcom burnout. You wouldn't have wanted to hear the cast that would have come out with on Tuesday, because basically I tried to look at like five different replays and none of them looked interesting. That is not to say the games themselves weren't interesting. It was just the fact that I had seen so many games over the last few hours and seeing so many players and all this other stuff, it was just like, oh, I've seen all this before. There's nothing here for me. Why am I doing this? So, yeah, the little rest period that we all need when we hit the burnout phase in whatever we're doing, I needed that little reset. So I'm going to post up all the tournament content. Hopefully that will carry you guys through. And then the Thursday and Saturday casts will be in, and I should be completely good to go on all of that and starting next week fresh. So what I'm talking about today... Complete and total ramble with some things that I have observed recently that you've probably already noticed, but I wanted to point out and get your thoughts on. Uh, comments are always appreciated, but I would enjoy discussing this with you guys. And that would be price increases as opposed to quality increases. And the reason that I'm specifically bringing this up is because last week I did the hardware chat. Um, basically discussing uh, what parts are in my PC, why I picked them, why some parts are ridiculously expensive and then other parts are not so high tier. Like I have a 4790K processor paired with a GTX 760, which is like the top tier one generation ago versus mid tier. What gives? Well, basically it's what I need at that time and how, you know, how much bang for my buck am I getting? And a r upgrade that I had just this past week, this over here, this is the pair of headphones that, oh, good goodness gracious. I've been crawling under a house all day. For those of you who don't know, I work construction. And yeah, that is a combination of bleeding from shards of glass that I was trampling and things. So I'm going to hold it up with this arm. All right. Um, Sony headphones, generic, El Cheapo, Walmart headphones. I think I got them for like $30. This is what I've been using for the last six months. Um... Up till this point in my life, I've been pretty much, eh, it's cheap, it's serviceable, I'll get it, I'll replace it when it breaks. 
And this finally broke. The left earpiece started buzzing in my ear like an angry bumblebee. And anyone who has had a bee trapped on their ear knows how annoying that is. And yeah, I needed to get rid of that ASAP. So I got, on recommendation of the awesome FAF community, I got AKG K240 Studio Editions, which are shiny, shiny gold. They're so pretty. I, I like... I saw the picture of them and I immediately was like, those look classy. And then I got them in my hand and looked at them and they're freaking amazing. The build quality is superb. They are super duper comfy and it is the first set of semi-open headphones that I've ever had. So it's not actually shutting out the entire world. As far as like, I've never had a set of headphones that didn't have a weak point. Like there's no hinge, there's nothing to break. These things, as far as I can tell, are completely indestructible. And even if I crimp the cable cable, and the whole thing breaks, it's got a replaceable audio cable, which is so freaking cool. And pardon the nerdgasm, but you know, I've never had a good pair of headphones before. This is, this is the first. And this is a repeating theme. I'm like, I start with a crap top computer I get a desktop. I'm like, this is so much better. And then I get a better CPU. This is even better. And then I get dedicated graphics. And I'm like, holy cow, this makes such a difference. Why didn't I do this earlier? Then the two monitors. Basically, I'm turning into a PC Master Race person because I'm continually in this upgrade cycle that I can never escape from. And every upgrade that I take, I'm like, holy cow, how did I live without this? But basically, the price tier keeps going up and... You get awesome, awesome stuff for the extra money that you spend. This is a new point in my life. I've never had any really free-flowing cash. It's always been, what's the cheapest thing that I can get that's barely serviceable because I have to have enough money to pay my rent and eat? And it's finally to the point where I don't have much, but I have a couple of dollars here and there where, you know what, I can pay more for these couple of little things because I think the price increase is worth it. So you have $30 headphones versus $65 headphones. I know, 65. I'm still having a hard time believing that. Like, This is what I picture $100 headphones being like, or $120. But anyway, so double the price, you get amazing build quality, much longer lasting construction, uh, better sound, all that good stuff for double the price. And I would say that in this case, it is definitely, definitely worth it. Um, and then you have other things in life, like tools, where you can go buy an El Cheapo Ryobi drill set for 100 bucks, get two drills, two batteries, charger, everything you need, and then if you try to use it on a job site, you'll break the thing in just a handful of days. Uh, I, As perfect point of reference, when I first started doing construction work, I had to pay for my own tools, I didn't have money, I bought Ryobi stuff. Um, <laughs> and I broke two of their Sawzalls in like six weeks because they're utter, complete, cheap crap. Awesome homeowner tools, terrible construction site tools. Um, and then I upgraded to Milwaukee, which costs literally four times as much. And nine months in, no problems, no breakages, they're stronger, they last longer, you know, well worth the money. And then you've got other things in life that you spend way more money on and it doesn't seem like you get anything out of it. For instance, Fashion. I don't know any name brand designers. I probably should have looked that up before I started this video. But, you know, you can go shop at Walmart and spend 10 bucks a shirt for something that's completely and totally serviceable and every once in a while has a print on it. Case in point, this flannel shirt. You know, this is a Walmart shirt. Not even going to lie. I wear it to work every day. Works fine. Second year in. Speaking of which, I need to look at some different fashion options because now I have a beard. And a beard and an, an entire wardrobe of plaid flannel shirts makes me look like either a lumberjack or the world's worst hipster. Neither of which I'm fully prepared to embrace. So I either need to come to terms with that aspect of my personality. I, would, I, I go with lumberjack. Let's go with lumberjack. I either need to. <laughs> I neither need to embrace that aspect of my personality, or I need to buy a new wardrobe, <laughs> one or the other, because. Uh, the beard is not making things better. Anyway, um, so you can get Walmart clothes that are perfectly serviceable, or you can go to some designer brand where you pay, instead of 20 bucks for a pair of jeans and $10 for a shirt, you pay 150 bucks for a pair of jeans and 100 bucks for a shirt. It's the same thing. It's cloth. There might be a little bit different print on it. You might actually get less material for more money. And yeah, there's a... There's a 
aspect of it that's basically ego feeding where you're like, oh, I can afford these kinds of clothes. I can wear these kinds of clothes. I'm going to show it off to everybody. But other than that, you're really not getting anything. And that even carries over to like Apple products. I just made so many enemies. You can have a Mac that costs twice as much as a PC and they do the same thing at the same speed and you just save so much money on PC. It's not even funny how much cheaper PCs are spec for spec. Um, and then you've got like their phones. I have an iPhone 6. It is the only Apple product that I have had and it was handed to me against my will by work. Um, so this is an upgrade from an old Android phone. My old Android phone, multiple dunks in the water. Um, I had it for over a year. The battery was still strong in it. No detrimental effects, even after multiple drops on the concrete. Never had a screen protector or a case for it. And granted, there were a few scratches on the screen, but it was fine. And yeah, this iPhone cost twice as much as that Android did when I first bought it. I've already replaced the screen once because I dropped it and the thing freaking shattered like nothing. Um, if it even gets the slightest hint of water, like accidentally dipping the very, very end of the phone in the water for a tenth of a second because I misjudged a distance or something. Uh, I basically have to shut it off and let it dry for a couple of days because it just completely goes on the fritz. Three months in, the charger cable is wearing out. It doesn't stay plugged in. Like I have to fiddle with it and get it exactly right to charge, which is why it's charging now. My car charger won't even work with it anymore. Anyway, it, it's a phone that costs twice as much. And to me cosmetically it looks good it has the apple logo on it it's a status symbol but the build quality is utter garbage on it um so i that's one of those things where you can spend way more money and you get an equal or inferior product because it's branded so i don't know i'm sure this rule applies to a bunch of things in life but it's something interesting to think about. Things that you encounter every day where you're like, well, I'm willing to spend this little bit of extra money and maybe it's worth it, maybe it's not. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this whole thing. If there's any other categories where you see massive extra money put forward and you don't see any real increase or areas where you can increase your spending by 5% and get this massive boost it's always interesting to look at things like that and it helps to be an informed consumer because anybody who's at the point in their life where it's like, oh, I have a little bit of spending money now, um, they're going to be asking around like I asked for FAF on the headphones. So it's a good discussion topic, something good to talk about. And if anybody asks you, offer your legit opinion. And hey, if you dabble in something in a hobby, that makes you a technical expert, technically an expert more than other people would be. So yeah, audio files, you might actually be able to do something with all of that extra information floating around in your head about the specs of different speaker types and headsets. So, excuse me. So anyway, yeah, that was my rambly thought for the day. Alrighty guys, I think I'm gonna wrap it up there before I go any longer on this completely uncalled for soliloquy. As always, thank you so much for watching. And if you made it through this video, kudos to you. I will see you guys for a couple of more casts this week and then a live cast at the beginning of next week and the end of next week to in shorter than seven days. And I will see you guys over there.